Profound. China's first and largest deep water high pressure gas field, Deep Sea No. 1, successfully completed. Why is China unique in deep sea energy? Why does China dare to be a pioneer in deep sea exploration? Did you know? Beneath the seemingly calm surface of the South China Sea, an astonishing revolution is unfolding, capable of reshaping the world's energy landscape. At a depth of 1,500 meters, it took Chinese people 10 years and 30,000 tons of steel to build an underwater three gorges. This isn't a scene from a sci-fi movie, it's a colossal project truly happening in China's backyard. This area was once considered an exploration forbidden zone by international giants, with seabed temperatures reaching 138 degrees Celsius and formation pressures of 69 megapascals, making the technical difficulty comparable to aerospace engineering. But the Chinese have an inherent spirit of defiance, determined to tackle this seemingly impossible task. Today, the Deep Sea No. 1 mega gas field has not only been successfully completed, but its second phase officially began full production on June 25, sending shockwaves across the globe. What story lies behind this achievement? And what does it mean? Don't worry, I'll explain it all to you now. Today, let's talk in detail about China's formidable achievements in deep sea energy development. We'll explore how China has built its own energy map beneath the deep sea, discussing the arduous challenges involved and the profound impact on Chinese life and the global energy landscape, once a reserved field for the West. Deep sea energy development used to be largely the private domain of Western countries. Take the United States, for example. As early as the 1970s, they began exploring and developing deep sea oil and gas. With advanced technology and ample funding, the U.S. established a vast deep-sea oil and gas extraction system in the Gulf of Mexico. At that time, the U.S. had numerous deep-sea drilling platforms and held a leading position in technology worldwide, capable of extracting oil and gas from depths of hundreds or even thousands of meters. For instance, BP's Thunder Horse Oil Field in the U.S. Gulf of Mexico, at a water depth of over 1,800 meters, was one of the world's deepest offshore oil fields at the time. To develop this field, BP invested enormous capital and developed a series of advanced technologies, including deep-sea drilling and underwater production systems. This project not only demonstrated the U.S.'s strength in deep-sea energy development but also showed the world the immense potential of deep-sea energy. However, for China at that time, deep-sea energy development remained a distant dream. China started late in deep-sea technology, with a weak foundation, and had almost no say in the international deep-sea energy development market. Western countries, relying on technological monopolies, firmly controlled the initiative in deep-sea energy development. Their technical equipment was prohibitively expensive, and they imposed technology blockades on China. It was incredibly difficult for China to gain a foothold in the deep-sea energy development sector. China's unyielding spirit and breakthroughs. However, the Chinese people are never intimidated by difficulties. Realizing the importance of deep sea energy for national energy security, China resolutely embarked on a path of independent research and development. To overcome the technical challenges of deep sea extraction, China invested massive human, material, and financial resources. Countless researchers dedicated themselves day and night in laboratories and at deep sea sites. After 10 years of relentless effort, a breakthrough finally emerged. China's first and largest deep water high pressure gas field, Deep Sea No. 1, was successfully completed. This is the world's first four star alignment gas field and, to date, China's deepest, highest temperature and pressure formation, and most challenging deep water gas field to explore and develop. The achievement of this milestone signifies a qualitative leap in China's deep-sea energy development technology, breaking the technological monopoly of Western countries. From once being out of reach to now standing shoulder to shoulder, and even surpassing them in some aspects, China has proven its strength through tangible actions. The technological advantages that Western countries built over decades, 
China caught up to in just over a decade, relying on its persistent spirit and unwavering pursuit of scientific and technological innovation. On June 25th, the second phase of Deep Sea No. 1 officially began full production, a piece of news that once again astonished the world. 23 wells simultaneously erupted, producing up to 15 million cubic meters of natural gas daily. This output directly meets a quarter of the gas demand for the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area, equivalent to extracting three water cube meters of natural gas from underground every day, with an annual output of 4.5 billion cubic meters, enough to fuel 100 million households for three years. In contrast, some European countries are facing numerous difficulties in energy supply. For example, the United Kingdom, in recent years, has experienced natural gas supply shortages and surging prices due to factors such as declining North Sea oil and gas field production and slow energy transition. To meet domestic energy demand, the UK has had to import large quantities of natural gas, putting it in a passive position in the international energy market. The commissioning of the second phase of China's Deep Sea No. 1 not only ensures the stability of domestic energy supply but also provides a solid backing for national energy security. This achievement shows the world China's powerful strength in the energy sector and gives China more say on the international energy stage. Pioneering Deep Sea Solutions even more remarkably, China's uniquely developed deep-sea kite production system allows subsea production trees at 1,500 meters to operate autonomously like space stations, impervious even to typhoons. The world's first 100,000-ton deepwater semi-submersible platform can withstand a Category 16 typhoon and operate offshore for 30 years without docking. The world's deepest 1,500-meter subsea wellhead system achieves precision of 1 20th of a hair's breadth. The pioneering deepwater gas field cluster development model has directly transformed the South China Sea into a super energy base. American experts, upon seeing the design blueprints, exclaimed, this is like building a space station on the seabed. In contrast, the United States has also encountered numerous problems in its deep sea energy development. For instance, their deep sea drilling platforms have also been hit by hurricanes, causing severe economic losses and environmental pollution. Chinese engineers, with their outstanding wisdom and innovative capabilities, have successfully solved a series of technical challenges, creating a world-leading deep-sea energy development system. This achievement not only demonstrates China's strength in engineering technology but also provides new ideas and solutions for global deep-sea energy development. The profound impact of major national projects is quietly reshaping China's energy landscape. As the Deep Sea No. 1 energy station in the South China Sea emits an ethereal blue flame beneath the waves, this combustible ice from 1,500 meters deep flows continuously through ultra-high pressure pipelines to countless households. The annual replacement of 5.4 million tons of coal translates into a staggering carbon emission reduction of 12 million tons of carbon dioxide equivalent to planting 120 million new mature trees across China, forming an invisible green Great Wall. This deep-sea bounty brings tangible changes to household bills on both sides of the Changzhou Strait. Wang Ahai, a fisherman from Wenchang, Hainan, found that his monthly gas bill dropped from 280 yuan to 190 yuan, a decrease of 32 percent. Cheng Guqiang, owner of a seafood restaurant in Zhangjiang, Guangdong, calculated that the savings in kitchen gas costs made his dishes more competitively priced. From the Blue Whale 1 in Liaodong Bay of the Bohai Sea to the second phase of Deep Sea No. 1 in the Kyangdongnan Basin of the South China Sea, Chinese engineers spent 15 years overcoming six major technical clusters, including deepwater drilling and underwater production systems, building a total of over 2,000 kilometers of subsea pipelines and waters with an average wave height of 3 meters transforming deep-sea energy into a blue artery that powers millions of homes. This is not only a milestone in China's energy structure transformation but also a vivid testament to global climate governance. At the COP28 venue, when delegates from various countries saw that China's deep-sea energy project had increased the natural gas self-sufficiency rate in the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area by 40 percent while driving breakthroughs in 200 core technologies and related industrial chains, 
The world understood the determination of this Eastern power to fulfill its dual carbon commitment through technological strength. These Chinese solutions for deep sea energy development are providing standardized templates for global deep sea energy development through patent output and technology sharing, setting new milestones on the journey to protect the Earth's ecosystem, leading the deep sea frontier. While countries worldwide are still fiercely competing for onshore oil and gas resources, China has already extended its energy development reach to the 1,500 meter depths of the South China Sea abyss, thanks to its independently developed Deep Sea No. 1 energy station. This treasure trove, known as the Deep Sea Black Soil, holds over 100 billion cubic meters of natural gas resources. The Sinook scientific research team has overcome six world-class challenges, including deepwater high-temperature and high-pressure gas field development, and independently designed and built the world's first 100,000-ton deepwater semi-submersible production and storage platform, setting a new record for China's offshore oil exploration and development depth. From the Blue Whale 1 methane hydrate trial exploitation to the commissioning of the Deep Sea No. 1 mega gas field, this series of world-renowned deep-sea energy projects not only establishes a strategic barrier for national energy security but also demonstrates China's formidable strength in leading the global deep-sea technology field. Friends, from the deep-sea number one energy station standing tall in the turquoise waters of Liwan, South China Sea, to the Blue Whale 2 drilling platform piercing the sky above the Bohai oil field, every leap China makes in deep-sea energy development is a technological epic etched into our blue territory. Behind these awe-inspiring achievements are the unwavering dedication of countless researchers who have honed their skills for a decade, and the magnificent transformation of major national projects from catching up to leading. As China's independently developed subsea production trees break foreign technological monopolies and intelligent unmanned platforms achieve autonomous operations at thousands of meters deep, China is witnessing not just breakthroughs in hardcore technology but also a nation's firm belief in striving for strength from the sea. This is the most vivid annotation of China's strength in the new era. Let's applaud China and Sinook. With their unwavering dedication to sacrificing for the motherland's oil, they firmly hold the energy rice bowl in their own hands. Let's applaud China's scientists and technologists. With their innovative wisdom, they have painted a magnificent technological blueprint in the deep sea. And let's applaud our great motherland. It is precisely the institutional advantage of concentrating resources on major undertakings that has supported one astonishing deep-sea miracle after another. If you are also moved by these brilliant achievements, quickly share this pride and glory, letting more people see China's resolute steps on its deep blue journey and hear the powerful voice of a technologically strong nation.